Welcome to Well.com. Today I have Daniel and David from IPG that manufacture the Light Weld 1500 XC. And first we'll be asking, asking David some questions and then we'll proceed to ask Daniel some questions about the processes. So let's get started. So first David, tell me about you know how IPG got started. Yeah, sure. So IPG Photonics was founded by Dr. Valentin Kapantsev, and he was Russian and he studied and worked in Russia for many years before coming to the U.S. And in 1990, he founded what we know as today as IPG Photonics. And he published and wrote a lot of uh, technical papers, one of them being the patent, which is on our proprietary diode technology, which is called uh, laser diode side pumping. And what that allows you to do is in the fiber, which is where the energy comes out, you pump it with laser diodes. And there's other processes and other you know, competition that does it differently. And there's certain advantages that we can maybe talk about later with that. But over the years, IPG has continued to take from very few watts of power and make it into many kilowatts of power. So what makes IPG different from any other companies? Well, that's a good question too. So like I said, there is a lot of competition out there and there's other technologies in laser and non-laser applications as well. So one of the things that we really pride ourselves on is reliability. So we're vertically integrated. And for those out there who don't know what that means, it means that we basically don't rely on a supply chain like other companies do. We make and manufacture all of the components that go into all of our products. And by doing that, we control the quality, we can drive down the costs, and we can ensure reliability. And that's really our biggest value to the customers that you can plug something in and you know it's gonna work for many years and it's gonna to continue to give you the same power that you bought, whereas a lot of competitor products, they degrade over time and the power stability also degrades over time. Right. <laughs> what other products do they offer? Yeah, so I know we're, you get, we're here today to talk about Light Weld XC, the handheld laser welder and cleaning system, but that was actually the result of many years of products that IPG has produced. So there's different types of lasers. There's lasers that are on all the time, they're called continuous wave. There's lasers that are pulsed, so they come on and off at different frequencies. They can come off in seconds, or they can go all the way up to pico and femtosecond intervals. There's lasers that have high peak power, and they can be used for drilling holes. They can right. be used to, when you start cutting, for example, and you need to you know, penetrate and then move on. So it allows you to do that faster. So fabricators find advantages because they're able to cut more and do more with our lasers. There's other things we make, as I was saying, like beam delivery. So you stick the fiber into a beam head and that can be for cutting, for right. welding, a scan head, which has a bigger field to it. We have other technologies like a real-time uh, weld monitoring system, which lets you actually as you're welding, it can see the profile, it can see the keyhole, and that, again, it really ensures the reliability and consistency of our welds to people who are doing high volume production and especially uh, precision applications. Right. So how is bringing light weld to market different than any, any other IPG products? Yeah, so that's interesting. So a lot of our, you know, components that we'll call components are our laser sources, our beam heads, things like that. And big integrators just buy the components and they make their own systems. And then we also make our own systems as well. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that we mainly are B2B business until we develop Lightweld. And this is a consumer product, right? So it's for fab shops. It is for bigger manufacturers as well. But when it really comes down to it, it's we're, we're addressing a welding market, welders right. who you know very well. Yep. And th this is very different for us. So for a company like us to come about it and try to say, hey, we got this great product out there and we don't really know how to do that. It was a big learning curve for us to do that. Right. And that's why we're excited to be with you guys today because we feel like we finally found, found you know, the right. right platform for us to, to partner to showcase with. showcase it, right. Exactly, right. because we want to reach you know, those welders because there's new novice welders who are learning in school and then there's seasoned welders out there. And I think they both can really you know, uh, learn and you know, utilize this product. Right. It is a great product. I've, I've had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, right. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> so what new developments you, you guys got in the works? That's a good question too. So, you know, 
We really hope that, you know, Lightwald is just the beginning for us to address, you know, kind of this B2C market. So there hopefully will be more products or at least advances on the same type of platform that give new features and functions as well. But one of the things is there's a lot of new industry applications, right? So everyone yeah. talks about electric vehicles and, you know, the manufacturers are promising, oh, by 2050, it'll be all electric. And, you know, we want to try to help enable that, right? So cars are getting lighter. They're lighter because you're using different materials like aluminum. That's traditionally tough to weld. Right. So we've been doing that for years. So we have good solutions for that. Electric vehicle batteries, and that's more of a precision application. You got all these cells and bus bars, and you have to make thousands, if not millions of welds to right. put these in all the vehicles. So we see a lot of um, potential markets like that, things that consumers are going to be driving into these big um, industrial applications. Right. Yeah. Nice, nice. So what we'll do next is, you heard David, so he's got a lot of good information that we just talked about. So we'll get over to Daniel about the more welding side because he's a welder himself. So Daniel, you know, it's your turn to answer a few questions. So, you know, as a as being a, a fabricator, where's where's the future going with this? You know, what's your view on it? So I don't want to sound like I'm being too biased, but obviously as lasers. Right. You know, I work for a laser company, but I was a fabricator for a really long time. And uh, I did everything. I did MIG welding, stick welding. Uh, I did TIG welding for a long time, fabricating on race cars. And I can tell you that there is so many welds that are almost impossible to do with TIG welding that you can do them with a laser with breeze. It's it's um, and and laser really is the future. It's 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 completely going to change the way that fabricators can do their job. Uh, and make their job a lot more efficient, you know. Uh, so I think that that's that's where the future of welding is going. Right. Actually. So what's the advantages? What do you think? You know, explain some more of the advantages of laser welding. Well, you know, we we live in a really high paced world. You know, everything is. I want it now. I I, I need this. I want it now. Uh, show me where I can click and have it here in my house tomorrow. Right. You know, and I think a lot of skilled labor jobs are, are starting to die because a lot of people are not very interested in them. And so many people are interested in technology. Well, here is a machine that is both technology and uh, skilled labor. Right. So, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have been on the fence, especially like like really old fabricators that I've worked with. And I tell them that I'm working, in, you know, in the laser industry now. And, and, you know, oh, that, oh, that, 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 you know, take welding is the best. And, and, and it's, and then they use it and they're like, oh, wow. Yeah. It's, it's, it is. it's completely different because it's going to completely uh, make you a, a better fabricator. You know, it, it's like, uh, let's say you're a video editor and you're working with Windows, you know, 95, but then you all of a sudden you, somebody gives you Windows 10. You're like, oh, whoa. Like, right. you know, it just makes you better at your craft. And it's the same way with uh, laser welding. It's gonna it's gonna make you so much better at your job and make your job easier. That you're gonna be more efficient. Uh, you're gonna be better, make better welds, and 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 you're really gonna help yourself and your company and the you know help everyone all all around and the community mm -hmm. of welding. Right. So as an experienced TIG welder, why do you love the light weld? exactly that because i've been able to do <laughs> i've been able to do things with uh, the light weld uh, that would really took me a long time to to do with the tech welder and it's like um you know it's it's really good to say like like remember we were talking about ray, welding the razor right. blades and i brought you over the razor blades and and you know you've done that with the tech welder and you know right. how difficult it is to do with the tech welder uh and it took me you know, a long time practicing to finally get it right. right. And obviously I was super excited. I was like, wow, I, I finally got where, you know, able to weld two razor blades together with a tech welder. Well, with the light weld, it, it literally took me five minutes and I was able to weld yeah. razor blades together. And it's, it's, it's that aspect of it that is really uh, uh, I love because, you know, I can push myself uh, farther and farther in my craft 
and become so much better at, at my craft because I have a better tool. Right. And, and that's what the light weld is. It's a way better tool that you can do things with it that you can't do with anything else. Right. It's, it's, you can't. It, it's it's, right. it's uh, light years away from the technology of everything else. So in your opinion, the best application for the IPG light weld? The best application is whatever you want to do with it. Right. Because the possibilities are endless. You know, you can weld microchips with it, or you can weld really thick scheduled tubing. Right. You know, you can weld pipe with it. You can weld aluminum, stainless, you know, titanium. You can weld uh, on regular metals to each other. You can weld stainless to copper. The possibilities are endless. And, right. and it's, it's such a wonderful product. That, that, uh, and like I said, I don't even, I don't, I'm not even, you know, trying to sound biased by it because I work for, uh, right. IPG, no, it like it really makes me excited to be a part of this project because I've been a fabricator for so long, and then I get to use this like magnificent tool, and it's just it's such an exciting and new thing to be a part of. Makes it fun again, doesn't it? Exactly, exactly. Because <laughs> yes. you know you get stuck with the same thing over and over. Yeah. Even with TIG welding, I love TIG welding. Like I still do. I I, I get go to my garage. And I uh, take well stuff and I love the way it looks. I love colors. Uh, I, I love all the different things that you can do with take welding. So I still love take welding. Right. But for a manufacturing point of view, for a company, you know, take welding takes a long time. You know, uh, you have to be able to be faster at it to uh, bring that speed to this world of today where everything is I want it and I want it now. Right. You know, right. and and that's the direction that it needs to go. We need to speed up the welders, and and this is the tool to do it with. Yeah. So, what can beginner welders and experienced welders expect with the light weld XC fifteen hundred? So that's a really good question because uh, we see beginner welders with the light weld all the time, and it is truly amazing how anyone doesn't matter what your experience is, you can pick up a light weld fifteen hundred, put the gun in your hand and you're instantly doing great welds, yeah. right? So for the beginner, it's great because uh, for, let's say for a company, like even if you, if it doesn't matter if it's a big company or a small company, training someone, it, it, it's, uh, it's a lot of time and a lot of money for companies, right. right? So if you have a tool that will help your employees and help yourself and your company to, uh, to be better and do things faster, it's great for the employee, it's great for the company, it's great for everyone, it's great for the consumer because you can you can bring prices down, you know, because your 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 processes are more efficient. And so for a beginner, when you're training someone, the training time is so short. Right. Now for mm -hmm. an experienced welder, you're gonna be able to take your craft and go to the moon and back, right? right? Yep. You're gonna go from driving a Geo Metro <laughs> to driving a Ferrari 488 Italian, <laughs> you know, it's it's right. really uh, re revolutionary, and and it, it doesn't matter how experienced you are, you're gonna be you're gonna use the same machine for cleaning, you're gonna use the same machine yep. for welding, and you it costs your it, it's gonna take your your processes so much shorter, right? right? And not only that, it's gonna allow you to do things that you've never been able to do before. You're right. going to be able to weld thinner materials faster with less warpage and have a, a, a better end product in half the time, right. you know. And right. so for experienced people, they shouldn't be afraid of the technology because it's just going to make you a, a better welder. Right. That's that's it. It's, it's, it's going to make you so much better. You're going to have a better tool and it's going to make you a better welder. So we had a lot of fun today. I appreciate you guys coming out. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. So thanks for watching today. If you have any questions or need help, go to our forum and connect with us. Weld.com forward slash forum. If you want to check out exclusive content and member perks, join our channel and support the Weld.com community. See you on the next one.